Hi everyone, welcome back for another whiskey review. Today I'm looking to finish this series of samples that I bought from the Old Alliance in Singapore, a famous whiskey bar. During the lockdowns at some point, I saw that they were selling some 1984 bottlings by a little dram and I bought eight of these buggers and I finally made it to number eight, a Kalila distilled in 1984, 22-year-old. Now, this is probably the most fascinating uh, release in terms of all of the eight samples of God because this has come from one of only 36 bottles, 36 bottle release. Now, it was put together by Jack Webers of Whiskey World Retailer in Germany. And the gentleman really collects a lot of whiskey as a connoisseur and he's put together this particular release and the label obviously i don't have the actual bottle the label is just wild i know the camera's not going to do justice but it sounds like they were into some really interesting labeling and this particular one was part of the racing car series so they've released this whiskey they've created a one out one off really bespoke, bespoke label with a looks like a formula one car yeah, I think it's a Formula 1 car on the label. And um, he's gone and released 36 bottles. Now, Kalila is, without a doubt, now, it was Brook Lighty for a while, but definitely Kalila now, my most favorite Isla distillery because of sheer volume of different releases I can try. All the independent bottlers do some mad experiments with their cherry cars, wine cars, all this kind of stuff at different ages. It just allows me to try different things, which is awesome. And that's what it's all about. Unlike some of the other island distilleries, yes, they do release a lot of stuff, but a lot of it is just watered down. But we're not going to talk about that at the moment. So we're going to talk about this Kalila 22-year-old. Sadly, my last little sample of whiskey distilled in 1984, but that's okay. There's many more bottles and samples. But just the last one out of this particular box from the old alliance. I did actually send them a message on Instagram and email them as well. But I haven't heard back yet. If they're still doing the samples thing. Because I recall how I got hold of them was a friend alerted me that they have set up an app. Where they put the entire back catalog of very expensive order release that you can order by a single dram. And got onto it obviously a year and a half, two years ago and ordered a bunch of 1984 samples. But the app doesn't work anymore. I re-downloaded it. I tried to log into it. It just doesn't work. And unfortunately, the older lines haven't replied back to both my Instagram messages and emails so far. So I'm going to assume that you're not doing the samples thing. But it looks like the bar is still going well. And I do hope to visit them one day. Because it sounds like they got some of the best collections in the world. Especially when it comes to the older releases, unique releases. This particular Kalila, very light in color. Bottle at a generous 51% ABV. No mention in uh, the notes I got what cast are by cast typing used. But judging it by the just the very light color, I'm going to assume an ex bourbon cask. Hasn't really given it too much color. But let's find out what's it like on the nose. The gentle smokes there, and it's just playing a bit of hide and seek with honeyed sweetness. Oh, so good. Wow. Bit of citrus as well. Just a tiny amount of citrus note. But the gentle smoke and honey is prominent. Oh, wow. really really good god i love kalita i love the fact how it's so smoky but it allows the cast type to present other flavors it's not just going to bomb your nose that lafroig and art they can do sometimes which i don't mind i love the love the big smoke bombs as well but the kalila is just a little bit more kinder allows the cask maturation to present those unique flavors and smells it's more of a little bit, a tiny bit of citrus character. Well, here's to me. Well, I'm actually 40 years and two days old now. 
three days later to record the review, but here's to me turning 40, trying a Kalila for my birth year again. Mm. Smoke. <laughs> Loads of smoky. Oh, wow. Really good. Loads of smoke all over the palette now. Really, really prominent. That tiny bit of honey sweetness is on the palette as well. And overall, very satisfying. Oh, wow. Wow. It's just amazing. The smoke and the honey sweetness balancing off each other. Neither one is sort of impacting the other. It's allowing itself to be what it is. Wow, could arguably be the best Kalila I've tried to this point. I mean, I did try some very old ones, including I think about 36 year old, but I meant to call it Kalila Distillery, but that was a long time ago. I don't really remember what it tasted like, but this right now is really hitting the spot. That smoke, even on the palate, is just gorgeous. Really, really good. Mm. Well, and it's getting sweeter. The honey sweetness is becoming more prominent. Oh, so good. So good. And I have a new favorite because I do <laughs> prefer smoky whiskeys. And I'm a bit just that much more partial to smoky whiskey. And out of these eight that I've tried, plus the two samples I've tried, the little miniatures with the manic mall. Oh, it's still here. I need to throw it away. Um, the other three little 50 mil samples I've opened, that Kalila, definitely. Yeah, for smoky whiskey, really, really good. I still prefer that long mall for a smooth, really sweet, chewy whiskey. But for... Full bang, this smoky Kalila has won me over. So good. Really, really good. I wish I had some more of it. And I wish I had this crazy looking bottle with a big yellow label around it. And it's got a yellow DHL kind of Formula One car <laughs> as a picture. That's just crazy. I wonder if you'll get away with doing it, Dad. Can you just... I don't know. Maybe he had mates at DHL or... The Formula One, and it's put their um, label on there. Or maybe it's not Formula One, it's maybe one of the other series, you know, they have the lower down ones. But I like how it looks a little bit different. And I like the fact it's Kalila, and I like the fact it's distilled in 1984, in a way, same as me. Wow, so good. I'm so happy I left this to last to celebrate my 40th birthday. It is just so good, really, really good. Well, that's all I've got to say about this particular whiskey. At this point, you've been thinking, well, you're going to upload reviews every day. What's happened? You're already three reviews behind. Well, I've caught up a little bit. And I am looking forward to getting to this resample pack next. I just realized here that I was going through all of the reviews I've done. I've only ever reviewed one Balvini. And I'm going to review this core range. Well, at least core range in many countries. The 12-year-old, the 14-year-old Caribbean cask. And the 17 year old portwood I'm going to be reviewing these next and uh i might just upload all three tomorrow night just so i can catch up and just be all caught up to be one review every day in 2024 got to maintain the straight but i gotta go thank you so much for watching if you're liking the content please like share and subscribe otherwise i'll see you in the very near future for another whiskey review see you later bye bye